Well, I have some very good customers, not favorite because I treat all my customers the same, but I have very, very good customers. Cool. Um, what is your relationship with uh, your boss? Uh, our relationship is pretty good. I, I I can consider him a friend more than my boss. We we go out outside of the barbershop. We go out. We go to fights. We do other things. So in the barbershop, out the barbershop, I consider him more a friend than my boss because he doesn't act like that. He doesn't act like my boss. Yeah. See myself in Las Vegas fighting for the WBO World Super Championship. Being that I'm a boxer. Yes, I've spoken to Sean and I. I plan in the future if everything goes the way I wanted to, to open up more ADGs all over Staten Island, all over New York. Yeah, I I I like to own my own, but start off I'll start off with Sean White. Trying to expand his brand. Um, do you have any last things you want to say about Sean? Uh, Sean is a very good person. He he comes to work every day, like all of us. He treats us all as equal. He doesn't have no favorite barber here or anything like that. And I could consider Sean a very very good person. I think the way management runs it is good. Um, I really don't have any complaints about the shop at all. Like the clients that come in, a lot of clients have been coming here for a long time, and um, pretty happy with working. Are you close with anyone? Close with a few barbers here. Yeah. Customers as well. I'm close with a few customers. I'm from the area for the most part, so I know a lot of people that come here. I do live around here now. Yeah. Yeah. Two blocks away. Yeah. I feel like I got an attachment here. As far as my long term. Goals, I'm not exactly 100% sure if I want to actually go into owning my own barbershop, but um, I do see myself here for a while. Uh, what do you think about Sean? I think Sean's a good boss or shop owner. I think he's a stand-up owner. I do respect the way he runs his barbershop. Like I mentioned before, I was in a few barbershops before where there's a lot of stuff that I didn't agree with, and all those things aren't here, so I do appreciate the way that he runs his establishment. What would you say here right now? What's up, Sean? <laughs> no, like, like, a, like a good friend kind of No, I would say that uh, for the most part, from a business aspect, because he's my boss, you know, I don't consider him my friend. I consider him my boss because he helps me make money and pay my bills and stuff. And I would say, you know, thank you for the opportunity. And I'm um, pretty happy with the way it's going thus far. Uh, what's your name? My name is Manny Fresh. Okay, and how long have you been working here for? I've been here almost two years. Right. And how do you like it so far? So far, I love it. It's a pretty good environment. Uh, everybody gets along. It's a good, uplifting barber shop. It works for me. It works with my, with my uh, personality because of who I am. With everybody here, even the owners, I've, I've had other barber shops where I didn't get along with the owners and had to leave because I'm just not going to deal with certain things that I don't, don't have to or don't think deserve to be dealt with. Yeah, my coworkers, we, get a, we all get along. Everybody, everybody loves me because I'm that guy, you know? And, uh, you know, <laughs> this guy. And uh, I showed them the same amount of love back, you know, and uh, the owners are cool, like I said. And uh, my customers, we all get along. Everybody loves the way I cut. They love my personality. They enjoy it when they come to the barber. Five years, I see myself changing careers, actually, and working in the healthcare field. That's what I'm going to college for now. In about five years, hopefully, I'll be running a hospital. College are you right now? Right now I'm in MCNY, Metropolitan College of New York. Going, my major is healthcare systems management. It's a bachelor's degree. As soon as I graduate, I'll be going back for my master's and taking it from there. Uh, Sean is a good guy. He runs the shop very well. Uh, someone once told me when speaking of the barbershops in the area 
that this was one of the best barber shops and on Staten Island, and not only that, that it was the best maintained and the most well run. It was mo the most organized shop on Staten Island because of what we do. We um, <clears throat> we throw barbecues. We do functions for the customers and their families. We every year we throw a barbecue for uh, Labor Day. We have face painting for the kids. Some last barbecue we had 105.1. We had a couple of DJs from 105.1 DJ, and uh, it was sponsored. Um, it was a great day. Food was free. We, it's basically a customer appreciation type of thing, where no one has to pay for anything. All everybody has to do is come out and enjoy themselves. Uh, what is your relationship with your coworkers and customers? And, uh, um, for the most part, good, I guess. You know, I try not to be on anybody or ride anybody because I've worked for people for years so I, I know how it feels you know so I try not to I try to be uh fair I try to be fair that's the best way to probably describe it um considering you're the owner of this place like what do you consider yourself as a leader follower uh, um sometimes you got to play both positions sometimes you got to be a passenger you know you're not always going to be leading you know Five years. Oh wow. Um, in five years, hopefully, like doing well, working with a good staff, and possibly uh, moving on to maybe getting another spot or you know, growing the brand. You know, so the you ADG are brand. To, like, um, I have had another shop. Um, I, it was I. It existed for about five years. You know, but uh, recently, like the way the economy is and everything. We kind of downsized and, and brought all the barbers from over there to here. Um, are you the only owner of this place? No, I have two other partners. And what are they? Uh, Karan Manjin and Vinny Lima. Okay. And um, what are your relationship between your uh, folks? Um, really, really good friends, really close friends for a long time. And um, they have Against the Grill restaurant. We're Against the Grain. Okay. So uh, for years... We worked side by side, and then and eventually we had a chance to come together and work together, so we did it. And, you know, it's been working since. You know, the customers, I love the customers. I appreciate everybody's business who walks through the door, whether they're spending a dollar or twenty dollars, you know. Um, I appreciate their business, and I try to keep them coming back. And as far as the staff, I, you know, I, I just like working around good people, you know. It's not... Uh, uh, rocket science, you know, we're barbers, we come in, we work, and, you know, have a good day, make the, the best of it, make the day go by fast, you know. I'm constantly learning, you know, I'm not always, you know, I don't always have all the answers, I just try to be fair, I, you know, I think if you, if you are honest with yourself in a situation, pretty much majority of the times you'll get by. You know, it's just when you're not honest with the situation, that's probably when you get your bumps in the road and everything. So I just try to... No, I'm planning to stay on Staten Island. Yeah. Um, do you see yourself um, opening up and other businesses? Or do you see yourself staying here and opening up your own stuff? Or? Oh, vice versa. If the opportunity presents itself, I would like to franchise and... So forth down the line. Right. Um, so, when you try to like good or bad, like to your boss? Oh, there's nothing bad I can say about the boy Sean White. Sean White is a very good person, very humble. Anything else? And he also managed the place very well, very good friend. And he, he's good to get along with. Oh, I love them. I love them all. I love them all. Okay. So here in five years, um, unfortunately, um, I've been doing it so long, I'm starting to peek out with it as far as uh, as far as cutting hair. But I'm gonna my last years here are gonna probably be the best. You know, I'm gonna try to make it a uh, the best experience for the customer as well as you know the people around and stuff. Um, I, have, I have a lot of favorite customers, but um, I, I try to treat them all equal. You know, I try to treat everyone with respect. 
um, with, uh, with uh, you know, professionalism. I always try to carry that. As best I, as best as I, it's a barbershop though. At the end of the day, it's a barbershop, and barbershop. We talk about, you know, we joke, you know, we have fun, you know, we, we, you know, we try to keep it fun, a fun atmosphere. So. I'm going to give you another question, a random question. Okay. Um, what do you think this place is going to be in five years? Oh, this place is going to be around for a long time. Um, this place is established, very well established. Um, it, it, the community love. The community has nothing but respect for for ADG against the grain. Um, we've been here for I think all together 12 years, something something near there, over a decade. And I see it for another, you know, it might be different owners because you know the owners now, nah, but it, it, it's going to be around for a long time. ADG is a community, a very well established place in the community. Of course, is the man. Um, he he uh, gave everyone including myself, opportunities to have a place to come and work and, 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 and take care of our, our families and our lives. I salute them. Um, it's a rough task, man, to, to hold on to so many guys for so long. That, that The way he did is, is I salute it. And I say, you know what? Big up. I wish it was many more guys like him. You know, big up to Sean White and, um, and the rest of the staff and the owners. And I appreciate them for allowing me to have somewhere to come and work, you know. The economy is really bad, but you, you can still come here and get a job, you know? So I appreciate that. Uh, Barack should do something extra for them because they're giving, <laughs> they're giving guys out here in Staten Island a place to work, you know? Uh, th there's no one hiring, but you can come here and get a job. You know, I salute that. You know, big up. Anything else? Uh, you know, just um, dig them, dig them, dig them. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's, it's like being with your brothers. You see these people every day. Y'all develop a family type of relationship, and you know y'all fight, but then y'all make up. Like tomorrow's a new day. It's just like being with your brothers. It's just like being with your family all the time. My customers, I love them too. I love I love my customers for real. Like they accept me for who I am. We fight too. I treat them like my little brothers. They all like my little brothers, even if they're older than me. I give out the cuts I want to give out. I don't give out the cuts they ask for. And I still get paid for it. So this is like a good a good job. Like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it really is. Like, I mean I do good work though. Like, but it's not good as course. Like I do good work. I learn from one of the greatest barbers out here, the owner of this establishment, Mr. Sean White. But even I cut his hair, so this is all me. Um in five years, what do you see yourself? Um, hopefully I'm rich. Um, it's a, it's a work in progress right now. Planning, I don't really have 100% what I'm going to be doing, but hopefully I end up on a beach somewhere with a boogie board, a dog, model, um, a couple more kids. I definitely want to own something for myself. I want to be like, get all the money, you know, the most of the money, a lot of the money. So I'm going to say I want to own something. And I'm going to figure it out soon. But if I'm here in five years, that's cool, too. Because, you know, it's, this is a, a, a lax environment. You know, I'm, I basically do what I want. I am the boss, per se. So, you know. OK, uh, last question. Um, would you have, you have any final saying to your coworkers, your customers, yeah, I love them all, man. I love them all for who they are. They're good people, end of the day. And I just want everybody to be successful, live out their dreams, get all the things they want. And I just stand behind them for, for better or for worse, you know? I'm here. And uh, I showed them the same amount of love back, you know? And uh, the owners are cool, like I said. And uh, my customers, we all get along. Everybody loves the way I cut. They love my personality. They enjoy when they come to the barbershop. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, I see myself changing careers, actually, and working in the healthcare field. That's what I'm going to college for now. In about five years, hopefully, I'll be running a hospital. College are you in now? Right now, I'm in MCNY, Metropolitan College of New York. Going, my major is healthcare systems management. A bachelor's degree. As soon as I graduate, I'll be going back for my master's and taking it from there. 
Uh, Sean is a good guy. He runs the shop very well. Uh, someone once told me when speaking of the barber shops in the area that this was one of the best barber shops on Staten Island. And not only that, that it was the best maintained and the most well run. It was the most organized shop on Staten Island because of walking to a barber shop and it's like opening up the door and seeing home. It's always a great feeling to feel the love being reciprocated the same way. So uh, it's definitely helped me through a lot of things. Like I said, I've walked in here on days stressed and walked out happy. I think these, I think these guys, I think, I think what it is is that Sean pretty much highest people that represent him. He has more of a very down to earth, classy type of uh, urban appeal. And I think that people are connected with him. They don't feel that he's necessarily disconnected. The fact that he's so connected, his employees are the same. So they kind of like bounce off with each other. In five years, um, you know, I don't believe in expansion when something is already well. It's like if it is not broke, don't fix it. I just see this being the same monumental in addition to five years on top of the prior years that it's been here. I think that the five years will be more of a historical, historical moment, more or less. I would like to just, I, I, I would see it here as opposed to expanding to another shop across the street and taking away from that. You know, the, the, the authenticity means a lot here at the actual place, which is 61 Victory Boulevard in Staten Island, New York. All right. I mean, pay my bills and stuff, and I would say, you know, thank you for the opportunity, and I'm um, pretty happy with the way it's going. Uh, Sean is a very good person. He, he comes to work every day, like all of us. He treats us all as equal. He doesn't have no favorite barber here or anything like that. And I could consider Sean a very, very good person. You know, thank you for the opportunity, and I'm um, pretty happy with the way it's going thus far. Walking into a barber shop and it's like opening up the door and seeing home. It's always a great feeling to feel the love being reciprocated the same way. So uh, it's definitely helped me through a lot of things. Like I said, I've walked in here on days stressed and walked out happy. In addition to a great cut just as well. I just see this being the same monumental in addition to five years on top of the prior years that it's been here. I think that the five years will be more of a historical, historical moment. Everybody has to do is come out and enjoy themselves.